Angel Reese joins us now, LSU Ford 2023 National Champion. Angel, thanks for the time. Congratulations. It was incredible to watch you cook. We loved every single second of it. Week ago, you're in the final four. Now you're on ESPN. You're on Good Morning America. You're everywhere. What's the last week been like for you? Good morning. Good morning. I haven't I haven't slept up yet, but it's been great. I mean, I enjoy every moment. You don't get these moments twice, so I'm embracing it, and I'm just having fun. I got to ask you, Angel, what's, what was your reaction to Clayton uh, Clark saying that you shouldn't be criticized at all for what happened at the end of the championship game? Man, people don't realize me and her have never had beef. We've played against each other for so long. And, I mean, she she's a great player. I love playing against Caitlin, And I feel like me and her have been the face, face of women's basketball on, uh, in the, at the college level right now. So just being able to have that and her come out and say that was, was, great, for, it was great for us. I got to tell you, Angel, I feel the same way both of you young ladies feel. Let women be great, right? I stop trying to yeah. put y'all in the box and tell y'all what y'all can't do or who y'all can't be. Y'all are competitors. Y'all play the game of basketball at a very, very high level. Emotions run over, and it's okay. I, I, I try to tell everybody. It's, it's phenomenal when you see it because it makes me tune in that much more. I already watch co women's college basketball, but being able yeah. to watch – the NCAA tournament this season and being able to watch Caitlin and yourself bring that emotion and that passion to the game, I think it's phenomenal for sports and, and particularly, especially women's basketball. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. So afterwards, you were passionate talking about what people say you, who people say you are, how they say you are. Yeah. Uh, who are you, Angel? Like to the, Set the record straight for the world. Who is Angel Reese? Unapologetically, Angel Reese. I'm going to be who I, I am, and I'm going to stand on my grounds and stand firm on what I believe in. I mean, I feel like a lot of women that look like me don't have a voice, and I speak for those that don't have a voice and just feel like they can't say certain things. And I, I can be the one to say those things and get maybe backlash from it, but I know that it gives confidence to other little girls or just even other women. I mean, I've gotten women that are maybe 30, and, and they say, I don't have as much confidence as I had as you have at that, at that age. So just being able to be an advocate for some people that may not say that, may not have a voice, and being able to speak for what's right, I think that's just something I've always stood firm on. Now, your team has accepted the invitation to the White House. Will you be joining them as well? Yes, I'm a team player. I mean, I would it would look crazy for me not to be there, for one. And then for two, I mean, going back home to the DMV, you don't really get those chances. Uh, you don't get those chances often. So being able to go back with the team and just – following along with my coach does because they have the best interest in me. One thing that I think is interesting, uh, and we're talking to Angel Reese, by the way, LSU forward. Uh, Angel, I, I've been around and covered the W for a, a minute with ESPN, and it's interesting to me to see the rise in talent at the college level right now. It feels like there's more talent, and it's spread out all over the country. Why has that happened? Hmm, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I think women's basketball is honestly growing. I think another big thing this year was so many different teams have been good. Usually it's not the top same teams like UConn is always good. South Carolina, we had so many different great teams this year. And I think that's helping grow women's basketball like the men's side. You, you didn't predict those four teams to be in the final four for the men's side. And I think there was a lot of unpredictable teams that were in the women's side as well. So just being able to see how much that has grown as well has just been great for us. Now your brother plays for Maryland um, yeah. basketball team, right? And your cousins yeah, with Jordan yeah. Hawkins, uh, Hawkins from 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 uh, <laughs> you family right there. So so tell us what those battles was like growing up with those two guys along with yourself playing basketball. Yeah, no, it's always been fun, super competitive. When I was uh, a little younger, I could beat the both of them. I don't know, I don't know if I can beat Jordan now, but I definitely know I can't beat my brother for sure. He's way bigger than me. Um, so yeah, we used to always compete and I guess me and Jordan have an upper ledge on my brother now since we both have national championships. What was the biggest difference for you? Obviously transferring to LSU and getting this opportunity. What was the biggest difference for you in your life and career that really made the difference this year? Um, honestly, just being able to have a fresh start and being who I was. I mean, I was always who I am, but I didn't have the platform. I mean, SEC, LSU, we've got the spotlight this year and just to see how much my platform has grown on and off the court because I feel like I've, I've always been this player and I was having these numbers at Maryland, but just to being able to see me get better, have confidence, be happy. And then off the court, how much my NIL has shot up. I mean, I started at LSU 
with 70K followers, and now I'm at a million. So you can kind of see the growth there as well. I, I, I was going to ask something else, but stick there for a second. I mean, NIL, uh, there's a lot of talk, and, and I think people have, have sort of kidnapped that talk to make it all about college football. But NIL can be a huge benefit to athletes in other sports, specifically for yeah. women playing basketball right now. How big of a difference are you guys seeing it across the board? Yeah, I think we, I think women's basketball might be leading in NIL deals. I know I'm leading the country in NIL deals. So I have somebody that I work with that is really great. Um, she's helped me a lot with that stuff. And I think it kind of affects, it's a positive and a negative. I mean, you get the good and the bad with it, of course. But I mean, especially as a woman and going into the WNBA potentially next year, knowing that I can make a lot of money in college and then going into WNB, I don't really have to worry about much. So I think it, it, it's been great, especially for me. I've been able to market. And because I know I'm just not a basketball player, I also like to model. I like to do my lashes, hair. So being able to get all those things and then on the court, just being able to kill has been just great. Now, Angel, I got to be honest. I like competition. I love watching the good game. I want to see y'all play Iowa next season. I need the schedule makers yeah. to make that happen some kind of way. How excited would it be to play Iowa again after defeating them in the national championship this this season? Man, that would be fun. It's like it, to see 9.9 .9 billion viewers was crazy. Like to see that many people watching our game was insane. So if it's going to grow the game and help the game and being able to get this impact again next year. I mean, I saw, I think Iowa already, they're selling out on tickets for their um, for their home next year. So just being able to see the, the game grow, how it is growing right now, it's, it's, it's amazing. Did you still have to go to class? Did anybody have to go to class? No, we still had class. Oh, <laughs> oh we had class. no. Yeah. I, I got to work on that oh, with LSU. I, like, I, I don't know how I feel okay. about that. It's <laughs> okay. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Angel, talk about your coach a little bit because you talked about being unapologetically yourself. And uh, while while your coach, obviously, Kim Mulkey, has had some controversy, I think she's pretty unapologetically herself also. What difference has she made in your development? She's been amazing. I mean, if you see my outfit right now, I have one on a sparkly jacket just like her. So she's just who she is. I mean, she stands firm. She keeps me humble. She, taught, she always has my back. I know that she has my back through thick and thin, and she's always there for me. My mom first and then a coach. So she's been, she's been great for our team. I mean, she didn't have these expectations on us at the beginning of the year. She had a list of goals, and we were only supposed to win. She said, at least just get out of Baton Rouge. And then we kept going and kept going. So I think she just keeps us humble and just keeps that chip on our shoulder a lot. So, Angel, on Fridays, me and Fitz, we have our own show. We're on KJM right now. But we call Friday Love Fridays. Now, you like R&B music? You like R&B? Yeah, I love R&B. Okay, so you got to give us your, your favorite, your top R&B song that's on oh your playlist God. right now. Your top R&B song. Oh my gosh! Um, okay, I don't have a top song, but I'm listening to that the the Scissor album right now. Ooh, that's okay. like my top. That that album right now, the SOS Scissor. That's that's me right now. That's me. So ha have she had a concert yet down there where y'all are? I went to the concert. Oh recently my gosh! She in had Atlanta. one in Dallas. She had one in Dallas and Houston. I don't think she had one in Nola. And me and my teammate wanted to go because we had an off day one one time, and I think like uh, Houston is about four hours away, so we were gonna take the drive, but. I was like, uh, I don't want to risk it. And coach, if we didn't make it back, coach is going to get us. So I wish I could go, though. <laughs> but I'm telling you, if you if you get a chance to go, she put on a hell of a show. It is worth oh it 1,000%. I'm telling you this, too. I like, was in there like, singing, Angel. I was Angel, in that thing Angel, you were already famous, but now you're, like, famous, famous. Now you can just be like, you, you got people. Like, your people connect to their people. And before you know it, bam, you got, like, a, a pass, and you're hanging outside stage. Like, this is this is just beginning of, like, the famous. Like, Harry lives this stuff all the time as an NFL vet. Like, when you when you reach the level of fame y'all got, you just walk into shows you want to go to. Well. No, literally. Um, I'm, I'm, I've been talking to Drake a lot, so he comes to uh, – he comes to Nola June 16th, and he told me he can get me backstage passes for me and my teammates. So we're going to get right. You'll, you'll see us there. You'll see us there. Man, Angel, we uh, – I, I, I oh, speak for both of us. Oh, she famous, famous. Oh, yeah. No, she famous, famous. Famous, famous. I, I speak for both of us. Uh, we were we were loud in defending from the, the day one – some really stupid narratives that went out there to the world. We were both incredibly pumped. We were on this show today because we knew we were going to get to talk to you. Watching you kick ass was one of the delights of the tournament, and it's a moment nobody is ever going to forget for women's sports. So thanks for hanging out with us. But more importantly, congratulations on being a national championship. You earned it.
Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for taking the time with me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.